What's going on Honda Heads? Thanks for coming back and checking out this channel. On today's video, uh, if you haven't uh, read the uh, title yet, we are going to be unboxing and installing a Acuity Hall Effect TPS sensor for the EK here. Uh, I've been having some issues with my TPS. Uh, my tuner um, told me that the uh, TPS was just acting erratic, so I figured uh, I'd bite the bullet purchased the uh, acuity i've heard nothing but good reviews from this tps so yeah guys that's what we're going to be doing in today's video we're going to do a quick unboxing per usual on the toolbox and then i'm going to go and show you how to install this and how to calibrate the tps using a multimeter so if you guys are wanting to figure out or find out how to go about calibrating the tps with a multimeter guys stay tuned and let's get into this <laughs> guys this is uh how um acuity sends it out to you guys so what's in the box uh you got a lot of uh, little packaging peanuts uh they give you a little bag with some uh a, a little key lanyard or keychain lanyard a um air freshener and a couple stickers it's pretty dope let me see You know, that's pretty dope that this company uh, goes and, you know, sends all this stuff with the uh, TPS. But yeah, you get uh, two Acuity decals, one in black and uh, one in silver. You get the uh, Acuity um, air freshener. I believe it's like a cup, coffee cup or whatever. Got the little Acuity uh, sign on it. They give you a uh, oh nice two little CTR uh, decals. Probably gonna give these to my kids. My boys love uh, putting those all over their mirrors. And then a little uh, catalog or whatever, a little uh, pamphlet with all of the other products that they uh, that they offer. Uh, but yeah, that is it with the uh, little auto line. It also comes with this little lanyard. Uh, nice quality. Damn, this is nice quality. Probably gonna swap it out with the one I got in the uh, Civic Keys now. But yeah, a little acuity lanyard for a key, key lanyard for your keys. So yeah, guys, that is all. Um, let me see. Yeah, it's just my receipt. Like even the paper is purple. That's pretty dope. Right here. This is what we're gonna be installing onto the car. Um, yeah, the packaging, man, the packaging was good. Came with them, like I said, you know, nice. Uh, uh, peanut packaging in it to you know make sure it doesn't get damaged but um, yeah just comes straight in this box the box uh, oh, also has a little another little sticker an acuity sticker guys don't mind me I'm, I know I might be sweating it is super hot out right now uh, it's probably like 90 degrees and I'm still camera shy I got my garage doors closed so yeah I am gonna be sweating for the next couple minutes as I do this <laughs> quick unboxing but yeah guys so yeah it comes with the acuity uh, sticker inside the TPS box and um, yeah, it gives you some hardware, which I will not be using because I have the uh, Downstar ones on the car right now. And it comes on this uh, packaging here to also protect it uh, during shipping or whatnot. So let me see if I could open this up. Yeah, there you go, guys. You can see that, boom, acuity. Um, yeah, these, these are, uh, from what I read or what I, I seen online these do not take the uh, that paper gasket that normally comes with the uh, ones you buy on like either Amazon eBay or, or your local parts store uh, this has its own little uh, sealant you will not be needing that paper gasket so but yeah man the uh, TPS sensor itself it seems like it's really good quality construction it's got some uh, nice ump to it compared to the other ones that I've, I've owned before granted I've only owned cheaper ones in the past i've 
I think I, I, the one I recently got, I got it from Amazon, uh, per, purchased it and you know, it's like 35 bucks. The quality of it wasn't as good as this one. It didn't feel as heavy. So, yeah guys, I'm gonna uh, now set you guys over at the car and start installing this. Stay tuned. Quick, the tools necessary to, uh, to finish this job. You're gonna need a 3 8 ratchet. Uh, or a quarter inch, whatever you guys got. In my case, I do have the Downstar hardware kit, so I am gonna need a um, Allen uh, little socket set here, and um, a little uh, three eighths, a three eighths um, extension. Also, uh, to calibrate it, you're gonna need a good multimeter. Uh, you could probably get away with using a cheap Harbor Freight multimeter. I, I'm, assuming it's still gonna work but yeah this is what uh, you're gonna need to uh, to calibrate the TPS you can use the Honda or the ECU oh there you go my bad yeah you can use the uh, K Pro if you got the laptop but in my case I do not have uh, a laptop uh, in hand right now and two my tuner has my ECU locked so I can't even calibrate it even even if I wanted to uh, you know and I you know don't want to have to take him the car down there for him to just calibrate it when i could do it here with the tools that i got so yeah guys that's uh the tool that we're going to be needing so now i'm going to start uh setting you guys up over on the uh tripod and start installing this uh tps so stay tuned you guys real quick another uh mental note uh, I am installing this on my K-Swap EK. If you're gonna be doing this uh, to your stock, either RSX, TSX, EP, uh, um, Civic SI, any of these K-Series cars, and it's the stock TPS, you will have to uh, scar the the, the little rib nuts that it comes with because you're not going to be able to take these little nuts out. Uh, according to Honda, you can't get, you cannot purchase just the TPS. It comes as a whole assembly with the throttle body, which is like 800 something dollars or whatnot, which is crazy to me but yeah in order for you to uh, remove the TPS if you are going to be installing it onto the stock throttle body you're going to have to need a little Dremel to make a scar or, or, or make a gouge on the little rib nut and then uh, use it like a flathead to remove the uh, little studs that it's holding the, t the OEM TPS in place so yeah guys be mindful of that if you guys run into that issue and you guys can't take it off so that's something you're gonna have to do so you're gonna have to remove the throttle body in my case as well due to the fact that my tps is in the location that it's in right here in front of the uh, rad radiator i'm gonna also myself have to remove the throttle body in order to get to the lower um tps boat which is down there so yeah guys let me uh set you guys up and start installing this uh, tps stay tuned perfect perfect guys as you can see I got the uh, throttle body out I didn't remove the uh, throttle cable because uh, I got more than enough room to work with what I need to do so yeah I was able to remove the uh, two bolts to the TPS which was this bottom one that was giving me the, uh, the little issue because it was tucked away down um, you know down here in between the manifold and the uh, radiator there so yeah I was able to take it out um, yeah now we're just gonna be uh, reversing this whole process installing the new TPS and then um, mounting the uh, uh, and then calibrating the TPS while we have it out so all right guys so I have the TPS installed onto the throttle body I'm not able to install the throttle body onto the manifold just yet just because of the fact I still have to calibrate it with the uh, um, with the multimeter and uh, I would have to uh, keep leave this lower bolt loose in order to move it side to side uh, to get it to the right setting for the calibration of this TPS and if the, man the throttle body is onto the manifold I will not be able to reach this bolt which renders it you know me having to redo this whole process all over again so uh, as long as you got the throttle cable still installed onto the throttle body uh, so the butterfly inside able to open up you're still going to be able to uh, calibrate this while the throttle body is off the manifold so yeah guys I'm gonna do that right now uh, once I have that um, calibrated I'll install the uh, throttle body back onto the car and cap this video out guys so stay tuned all right guys so the way you're gonna calibrate this TPS like I said you're gonna need a multimeter you're gonna have to set it on voltage the uh, smallest amount mine is uh, I believe this is a 12 volt but I think it, uh, 5 volts is what it runs off of don't call me on them, not on the but no more than 12 volts runs through these wires or through this plug. So yeah, find your uh, 
you know, you're setting that to according to the voltage, which minus 20 volts. And then what you're gonna do, you're gonna do this one of two ways. You're gonna need to locate the center wire, which is the red uh, wire, it's red and black. If you got the stock harness, I have the K-Tune harness, so mine is, uh, oh yeah, mine is red and black as well. So yeah, you're gonna locate that red wire. Uh, you're gonna back probe it just like this. Uh, Acuity sells a little sub harness where it has these leads exposed, which it makes it a little easier for you to uh, uh, use the multimeter and and be able to calibrate this this whole little TPS. But I, you know, I couldn't justify spending thirty dollars for that harness when I could just do this and it does the same thing. So yeah, guys. With that being said, I'm gonna back probe back probe the center wire, and then you could either. Uh, find ground within your chassis which it would be either here here uh, anywhere that's ground In my case I believe acuity says that to run it straight off the uh, ground of the battery uh, it does I guess change it uh, the reading a bit but yeah since I got my battery in the trunk I ended up running this little uh, wire here running to the negative terminal of my battery and then I'm going to just connect it just like this and then read off that um that reading and it should read at 4.5 or 0 0.45 so yeah let me uh show you real quick i already am doing this little off camera but i'll show you what i'm talking about give me a sec you're gonna grab your multimeter you're gonna grab the red lead put it in the center port of the tps plug which is a red and black wire you're gonna back probe it into that and then find ground on the chassis you could either find ground on the chassis or connect it directly onto your negative terminal on your battery. Since my battery is located in the trunk, I ended up running a wire to the trunk of the battery and then a uh, little alligator clips to uh, alligator it from the negative lead on the battery to this uh, negative terminal on the multimeter. So yeah, uh, you're gonna see it. It's reading at uh, 0 0.54. It may be back, well, it's, why is it back? Oh, whatever, it should read right on your end. but. Yes, yeah, reading 0 0.54. So when you want to have this reading, it should be at 0 0.45. So it being loose, you grab it and then you start twisting it, the TPS ever so slightly until it's reading the uh, measurement you want it to be reading, which in my case is 0 0.45. Just like that, it's reading 0 0.45. Now you come with the uh, uh, tool and start tightening while keeping your eye on the multimeter so it doesn't uh, lose its um, calibration. Yeah, when you go to tighten this, don't do just one side because when you go to just do one side, it'll throw the reading off. So tighten it evenly, you know, doing the lower bow, top bow, lower bow, top bow until it's fully secured um, mounted. So. go all right guys so as you can see at a close throttle is four zero point four five savvy all right get hold it down give it gas all the way all the way and right there it is four point six four uh, that range could be anywhere from 4.5 to I believe 5.0. So yeah, it's within uh, within spec. So now that we know that the uh, reading is right, we're gonna start installing this um, throttle body back onto the car. Everything's bolted up, and now I'm gonna go and crank the car over. So let's see what it what it does. Oh. Yo, homie, where my keys at? Right there. Oh, let me go to my. Thanks for nothing. Daddy, look. Oh, I love he's watching the Jake Paul and uh, Willie fight when he gets rocked. Night night, it's night night. <laughs> All right, so there you go, guys. 
SSTG cluster. Bobby, don't touch this. Don't touch nothing here. So as you can see, no check engine. guys that is it for today's video if you guys enjoyed this video or found this video informative i would appreciate it if you guys would smash that subscribe button uh, like the video uh share the video comment down below guys don't forget to hit the bell notification down at the bottom so you guys be notified whenever i put out any content and guys you could also follow me on ig and um and on tiktok on ig is wecing underscore k20 and on tiktok is honda head at honda head garage so yeah man if you guys could follow me on any of them other platforms i really appreciate the support and uh, remember guys until next time stay blessed peace